Hi and welcome to another video of Star Tech Academy where you will learn something new every day. So in this video we are going to look at how you can use ChatGPT with Excel to make your tasks easier and more efficient. But before we get into details, let's briefly discuss what ChatGPT is. ChatGPT is an advanced natural language processing model that uses deep learning techniques to understand and generate human-like text. In simple words, if we ask anything to ChatGPT, then it will provide us with an answer of our question and that generated text sound like it's coming from a human. So how can we use ChatGPT with Excel? So we will learn two methods by which we can use ChatGPT for Excel queries. In the first method, we will look at our Excel problem. We can convert our Excel problem into a question form in our mind or notebook or anywhere you want to write down. Then we will ask ChatGPT for the formula or the answer of our question. Once we have the response from ChatGPT, we can use it in Excel. In our second method, we can integrate ChatGPT with Excel through API. With this, we can build interactive chatbots. These chatbots can answer user queries, provide information and assist with various tasks. You can input questions or commands in Excel and the chatbot powered by ChatGPT can respond with the relevant and helpful information. So in this video we will use first method and solve our Excel queries. For second method I will create another video and I will put the link of that video in the description of this video. So let's dive in and explore. So here we will start with a very basic problem and then we will bring it to next level. So here we have student 1 and we have 3 subjects and mark of this student in these 3 subjects. So we have to total these marks but we don't know what formula we have to use. So in such case we will use ChatGPT to find the formula which will work in this scenario. So for this, first of all, you'll need to open ChatGPT and set up your account. I have provided a link in the description by clicking on which you will land on this page. So here, if you are a new user, you have to sign up or if you have already used ChatGPT, then you have to log in to your account. After successful login, you'll see a screen like this. Here are some examples, capabilities and limitations. Here you can ask any question and from here you can start a new chat. So we are ready now to solve our Excel queries with the help of ChatGPT. So let's get back to our Excel sheet. Here we want to calculate the data in these three cells. So we have cells from C3 to C5. So let's write this question in ChatGPT. So here we have written that provide me a formula to add cells C3 to C5 in my Excel sheet. Let's hit enter. So here ChatGPT provide us a formula with an explanation which says this formula will calculate the sum of the values in C3, C4 and C5. Simply enter this formula into the desired cell and it will display the sum of the selected cells. So from here we will copy this code and we want our result in this cell. So we will paste this formula here, click enter and you can see this is the sum of these three subjects. You can see the formula and this answer. Here let's look at another example of some function. Now we have five students and their marks in these three subjects and here we have to total the marks of these five students in these three subjects. We don't know how to do this, so we will use ChatGPT. So our data is present from C3 to E3 and we have to calculate in F3. So here we will write our query. Provide me an Excel formula to add Let's hit enter. You can see here is the formula. We will copy this formula. 
and paste it in the desired cell, hit enter and you can see now we have the sum of these three subjects of student 1. We will expand this formula and now we have total of all the students in three subjects. Now here we will calculate the average marks of these five students in these three subjects. So we will write So here we have written that I want to calculate average marks from cell C3 to E3 in my excel sheet. Hit enter. Here we have the formula and how can we use this formula is written here. So we'll copy this formula and paste it here. Hit enter. So we have 86.3% average of student 1 in these three subjects. Let's expand this formula and now we have average marks of these 5 students in Math, Science and English subject. Now let's look at our next example. Now here I want to find total marks of student 3 from this table. So here we have 10 students but if we would have large data then first we would find student 3 from entire table and then assign their marks here. So it would be a little bit difficult. So in such case, we use lookup functions. So let's find how ChatGPT will help us in this scenario. So here we will write. And here we have students in B column and their total marks in F column. So here I have written that write an excel formula to find student 3 in a table and return the total marks. Student in B column and their total marks in F column. So hit enter. So here ChatGPT provide us with a formula and here it says this formula search for student 3 in column B and return their corresponding value from column F that is total marks. Let's copy this formula and paste it here. Hit enter. And you can see that here we have student 3 and his total marks is 255 which we can see here. And you can see here is our formula. Now let's ask ChatGPT for its alternative. So you can continue here. We will write is there any alternative and here it shows that you can use index match function. So here it says that this formula uses match function to find the row number where student 3 is located in column B. Then the index function retrieves the value from the corresponding rows in column F which represents the total marks. Here it says that there is an advantage of using index match which is index match combination is that doesn't require the data to be sorted in a specific order unlike the VLOOKUP function. So if you have data which isn't sorted in ascending or descending order so you can use index match function. Here ChatGPT provide us with the exact formula because we have written that our student in B column and total marks in F column. So you have to provide all the details in your query that you will ask from ChatGPT so that ChatGPT can provide you with an accurate answer. So we'll copy this formula and paste it here. So here is our formula. Let's hit enter. And you can see that we have total marks of student 3 in this cell. So we have seen that ChatGPT can really help us in writing functions and formulas in Excel. But can it help us in really complicated stuff like writing a macro from scratch? So before writing a macro, let me tell you what a macro is. A macro is a program that automates repetitive tasks by recording and replaying a series of steps. It saves time and effort by performing actions with just a click or a shortcut. Here in this example, 
Here I want to share the total marks of these two students on these email IDs. For this, first we have to enable the macro. For this, you have to go to your ribbon and you have to right click here and you have to select this option customize the ribbon and here on the right side you can see this checkbox of developer make sure that this box is ticked and click on ok now you can see this developer tab you have to click here and on the left of this developer tab you can see this visual basics you have to click here you have to insert module now let's get back to chat gpt so here you can see that we have written write a macro to send email our subject is start tech academy use the following text congratulations you have passed the exam with x marks take value of x from column b and send to the email address listed in column a what is this x this x is our total marks and which is in column b you can check here in column B we have total marks and in column A we have email address. So in its result ChatGPT provided us a full macro you can see here. And here it is returned that make sure replace sheet 1 with the actual name of your worksheet where the email addresses and marks are stored. So we will copy this code. Go to our VBA and paste this here. So what we have to do? We have to change this sheet name from sheet 1 to macro because our sheet name is macro. So if you want to learn macro or you want to learn all the excel functions and formulas in detail for that we have created a full detailed course in which we have covered all essential excel formulas and functions from beginner to advanced level. So I have provided the link of the course in the description. You should check that out if you want to learn Excel in detail. So let's close this window. Close this VBA. And here we have to click on developer option and click on this macros option. Here you can see that this is our macro. We'll click on run. You can see that emails have been sent successfully. But note one thing, first of all you have to set up your Outlook account. After setting up your Outlook account, you can send emails. Let's click OK. And let's check emails. So here you can check Start Tech Academy. And the email is congratulations, you have passed the exam with 255 marks. Let's check another email. Here you can see congratulations you have passed the exam with 283 marks. So ChatGPT has helped us solve problems ranging from basic to advanced level. Whether it's calculating the sum or average of marks, using lookup function, combining multiple functions like index and match, or even writing a macro from scratch, ChatGPT can help us in all these scenarios. ChatGPT understands your queries and instructions. You can present your problems clearly to ChatGPT and ask for the solution or guidance. But I will suggest you that you should check your answers once. Because ChatGPT is an AI language and sometimes it can provide you a different result than that you asked. So that's all in this video. But if you want to learn more about ChatGPT, Excel, or other data analytics or data visualization tools, then make sure that you have liked our content and subscribe to our channel. That's all in this video. Thank you.